May 8, 1916, Emile's squad was sent on a mission to take back Fort Douaumont, a strategic point in the German defense. Staggering to think that fact there. 70,000 dead every month. One Frenchman and one Germanman every minute. I just... I can't comprehend that. Can't comprehend it at all. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here. If this was what I meant to be doing. But let's see. Doesn't strike me as particularly wise what I'm doing here. Nope. Especially because I screwed it up. How can I make him? I'm trying to make sure he digs up. Yeah, there we go. Got it. What's over here then? Well, this is going to be quite tricksy, isn't it? Okay, so I can't do anything there. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's gone out, so I can sneak in down here. Don't question the German dog. What have we got here? Fort Duomont. Duomont was one of the symbols of the Battle of Verdun, as was exploited by both camps for propaganda purposes, propaganda being very important during World War I and II. The Germans seized the fort in February 1916 before it was seized back by the Allies in October with heavy losses. In the meantime, the fort was damaged by a huge explosion that killed almost 800 Germans inside. Rather than the work of some valiant heart, the explosion was caused by a neglected stove. The ensuing fire spread to the petrol and ammunition supplies. Jeez. The Germans were first to use flamethrowers in an assault on previously held positions in July 1915. Although the attack was expected, the use of weapons came as a surprise and caused a large number of casualties. Its psychological impact was huge, but British troops soon learned to cope with the slow-moving operatives lugging heavy equipment and did not adopt the weapons themselves. I imagine that was utterly frightening. I'm trying. Wow, okay, so that's the use of flamethrowers there. Um, what do I need to pull then? Just investigate what's through the lockers here. What's that? Empty wooden case. What does this do? Okay, so if that goes there... And then we pick up. Can I not just pick up one of the? Or just set this on fire? I just want to start the fire. Do you not let me start the fire? Hmm. Well, that's troubling. Oh, 
Okay, so what if... <laughs> Just endless supplies of straw dummies here. So if I... Maybe if I put this here? Pull that lever. Hmm. Will that set the twigs on fire? There we go. And I'll quickly pull this back over. Hope that that doesn't go out too soon. Don't mind the unconscious German. There we go. Got him. So now Emil can come forward. Uh, sorry, not Emil, Freddy. Can come forward. Right, you go there. Because he's not going to attack you. Now. You get me one of those. Pick it up, come back. Good dog. Good doje. Ooh. Whoa. Why are you setting fire to my dog? Okay. Shouldn't have squandered that. There we go. There we go. Just needed to get it closer. So now, what have we got here? Can Emil advance forward? Just wait for him to turn his back. Biff. Shame I can't hide in lockers. Like in Outlast or something like that. Nothing to see here. What's that? That looks fancy. A German ring. Offered in exchange for some precious item as part of a program to finance the German war effort. Because of course, after all, in all of this, Money is what makes the world go round. It was said as well that part of the reason why the Allies won is because they had so much more money to pour into the war. Just did a little quick check and it says that um, the Allies had much more potential wealth that they could spend on the war. One estimate said that the Allies spent $58 billion on the war and the Central po uh, Powers only $25 billion. Of which the UK spent $21 billion and the US $17 billion. Jesus. Staggering when you think. Especially, you know, back in the day, how much that would have meant. You think how much we spend on war now. It's unbelievable, really. Oh. Well, this is not good. I want us to check the other room. Now, why would there be random fire like that? I would struggle to suggest if this was a gas chamber, but... I couldn't... I wouldn't see why gas chambers... Because they're part of World War II and the... The Holocaust. I guess someone's just left a valve open somewhere. the way this is shaping up. Oh, jeez. Um... Okay. 
So this ain't looking good. Is there anything on the other side I can use? Yes. Hopefully that was smart and fast enough. Yes it was. Whoa, let's just wait here. I looked it up, by the way, and the Baron Von What's-His-Face doesn't actually exist. I would wondered if they based him on an actual person, but... As far as I could see, it doesn't actually exist. Right, okay, so we're through here. So, if you pull that... Then can I... So I need to time it. There we go. Bada bing. Oh, of course. You run away like the scrub you are. Right, up we go. Yeah, I wondered if there was any re relevance in the... Baron von Dorkface over there, but looks like Ubi's taking creative license with that. And I guess at the end of the day, every game does need a bad guy, and we're not going to go for General Germans in this one, which is good. Oh dear. Oh, this looks trickier. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Where did that send Walt? Uh, interesting. Presumably. Hmm. There's one. How do we get to the other? Oh, like that. It's easy as that then. Fire in the hole! It's getting hot in here! Bang. Well, that wasn't so bad. I wonder when uh, the Baron's gonna get his comeuppance. He certainly deserves it, doesn't he? Oh. Hey, <gasps> Berman. Run out of Come, come, come. Anna's father. Most excellent. So hopefully we can free Anna's father in all of this. Oh dear. Yeah, let's run. So this will be one of the creative liberties taken then. I doubt Baron's run around having personal vendettas. Oh dear. Right. I really do like the way they double up on this, you know? I think they've done it very cleverly. No, get down the ladder. The music's gone a bit Inception, hasn't it? At least we can double- that explains why I could just go straight through on the other bit. Um, so I've dug back down here. Ah. So I have just locked myself out of that other room. But never mind. 
Right, how are we going to do this? Oh dear. Right, lift that up. Okay. Let's get the angle right on this. Come on. I can't get the angle right on this. There we go. And there. Got it. Despite the fort's partial destruction, the Germans held their position. The mission was a failure. My darling, War has taken away a very dear friend. He was like a brother to me, and his death affects me much more than I could imagine. In happier news, Carl is safe from the trenches, and his condition improves steadily. I'll go and see him on my next leave. And what about you? How are you? Are things in St. Miel any better? Carl discovered things were not, in fact, any better. According to Marie's last letter, his son had fallen gravely ill. Carl had come to a decision. This war would never end. He had to escape. 